Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. City of Porto and this unmistakably the Estadio Portugal blue certainly the colour. Quite some performance and now here comes the response. Jim Beglin to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Well, it could be a disguise, Peter, for something else. And that five at the back can easily produce wing-backs. If that's the case, I think, you know, it might end up a three at times. Uh, admittedly, though, if they do play deeper and in line with the centre-backs, then we can um, take it that they don't really want to give much away. That will be foremost in their minds. But essentially... It depends on the two wide players in that defence. If they push on a little bit more, we could see something very different. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Miralem Pjanic. He plays in that deep midfield position, Peter, which allows him to take his time to, to pick out a pass to the forward line. He also delivers a, a fantastic set piece, something that his manager had in mind when making the signing, I'm sure. I'm not thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Hoists it forward. in towards the header oh just needed a better contact i have to commend the wing plate but i have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross she tries to get it forward quickly what you've seen Jim over the early moments of the game well I think both teams probably feel it's it's too early for either to start taking real risks so they're still very much in a phase of of testing the waters and and sizing each other up tries to get it clear lovely bit of skill It's found its way to him. He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Seems now to be all about width. 
Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. To throw. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone, and we still await the first goal. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. The ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Kolasinac, and it's played forward. Kolasinac. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Forward it goes. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Polasinac. Into the final five minutes of the first half. a foul which side of the line is that well, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box and it is just a free kick well I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score and obviously he's not going to allow that Peter is he Going for goal! And that is quite wonderful! About as smooth as it gets! And Finland are ahead! Oh, that is a bit special. Finland take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Oh, that's neat. Cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the first 45 minutes are up. Here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Here we go again. Finland really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Pjanic drives it forward. 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. didn't have enough to concern the defence. Finds himself eased off the ball. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Floats one over. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Finland are still that goal to the good. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and it's 1-0. Forward it goes. That's a hit! <laughs> He's looked long this time. Nicely controlled. He's making good use of his strength there. That's a pop! Yes, it's there! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. He's made good progress from a deep position. Tries to stroke it through. And the ball is out of play. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Jekko did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Pjanic plays it out to the wing. So Bosnia and Herzegovina have a free kick. Kolasinac. Out towards the flank. Knocks it away. 
Pjanic. Out to the left it goes. There's a long ball. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. It's come loose. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. of goalkeeping absolutely terrific terrific reflexes and that is it the referee has seen it up Finland in victory here and on balance they were worth it so what do you take away from it all Jim what I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit getting behind the ball doing the ugly stuff that's what gets you clean sheets and wins